What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NFL First Look lineup video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section and your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Thank you guys for joining me as always. As you know, early on in the week, we do a First Look lineup video where we pretty much just touch on the people that we're putting in the lineup, build a lineup off kind of early look of the slate, and then on Friday, I'll break down position by position and go through each, like the core guys I like at each position, kind of give it a more in-depth uh, look at the slate at the end of the week when we kind of have more injury news. Thank you guys for joining me as always. The winner of last week's $50 giveaway is Tony Kenyi. Tony Kenyi. Hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL for your PayPal. Give me your PayPal information so I can send that over to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate you guys as always for joining me for another video. I am excited about this slate, man. We have had such an amazing NFL season. It was a slow start to the year, but golly, like we're hotter than we've ever been in NFL, man. I mean, we cashed again week 14. Week 15 is going to be another banger. It has been absolutely amazing. Huge season for us. I believe I was looking at it the other day to see like my profit and stuff that I've made on through DFS this year so far with NFL and it was like 15,000 it was slightly over 15,000 profit I've made in the NFL season so far this year and I'm not even playing heavy money so that just shows how crazy the NFL season has been this year um, but thank you guys for joining me let's get straight into it as you know the NFL player prop tool will have be dropping plot props as prize picks is dropping props you want to hit that as soon as you get like it's best to get your if you're going to be with us for the week it's best to get your package early on in the week. That way, you're able to immediately use the NFL player prop tool. Take advantage of that for prize picks. You're imme immediately able to start using these tools early on, especially the player prop tool is the biggest thing because these guys drop at super low props on prize picks. Like prize picks will put them at a, a number they should not be putting them at, and the player prop tool will immediately know and grab that and let you know like hey you need to grab this now because this will not stay this way so make sure you grab it early on in the week use that nfl player prop tool and you should be good to go over on prize picks man that player prop tool is legit um let's go ahead and get straight we only miss sweeping we almost sweep we doubled up on prize picks last week for nfl we only missed one pick and that one pick was Tyreek Hill. We had over 88 passing, um, receiving yards. And Tyreek Hill got hurt in the beginning of the fourth quarter, or he, or he would have hit that easily. So that was unfortunate. You can't do nothing about injury. But everybody else hit, and it was a fantastic week there too. So we're looking for the sweep this week as long as no injuries happen, and we're good to go. So let's get straight into this. This is a slate where there are a bunch. There is a good amount of injury news, but as of what we know right now, I'm down to go Justin Herbert. I'm going Justin Herbert. I'm pairing Justin Herbert with Keenan Allen for me in my first look. Um, I it took a little bit. I love the pairing of Herbert and Allen together this week. I think that Chargers Tennessee games ends up being fairly close. The Chargers are one of the higher team totals of the slate. Tennessee has given up the most fantasy points to quarterback over the last four weeks. The second most fantasy points to receivers over the last four weeks. Like as of late, they cannot stop anybody through the air. Okay, Herbert and Keenan Allen is a fantastic pairing. Karen Keenan Allen's gotten 14 targets in each of the last two games. He's getting targeted ridiculous. He's going to have a huge game here soon. So Justin Herbert paired up with Keenan Allen is the way I really like to go there. Plus, I like the run back on the other side with some Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry kind of, and this gets me exposure to a game I really like this week. I think Henry's going to be able to do what he wants to do on the ground against the Chargers, as well as the Chargers being able to do whatever they want to do through the air against Tennessee. So I really love that game. I love that run back. I love everything about that. Now, next up, James Conner. As we know, Kyler Murray went down with an ACL injury, screwed like 98% of everybody's lineups on the showdown. Uh, but prayers up to Kyler Murray. Hopefully he, you know, recovers and does well with that. But James Conner is a great play here, in my opinion. Um, not only do I like the Denver defense, but I do like James Conner, too. Denver defense is more of like a, yes, the matchup's great against the backup quarterback and all that. Let me go ahead and put that in, and let me explain my, my thoughts here. Um, I think you have to go Denver defense because, it, oh, they don't lock. They still don't lock in the lineup builder. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, um, 
Denver defense is who we're going to go at defense. Now, let me explain, because normally I don't go a player against my defense like that. But here's the deal. Denver's only 2-7. Denver is incredibly cheap this week, and there's no Kyler Murray. So Arizona with a backup quarterback with the lowest projected total on the slate. Denver's defense has some talent and should be able to cause some turnovers, cause some problems. But on the other end, I think Arizona relies heavily on the run with no Kyler Murray. I think we see a lot of little dump offs to James Conner for a full point PPR on DK. I think we see a ton of carries out of Conner. Um, I think the usage on Connor is going to be huge here with them having a backup quarterback. I think them moving the ball is going to rely heavily on Connor. So I think Connor gets his through the air, on the ground, whatever. But I think Denver's defense also does very, very solid um, to, you know, give us that cheap defense that's in a great spot. So, yes, it, the correlation is not fantastic, but it's a solid spot. Now, speaking of correlation, I am going to pair Latavius Murray with the Denver defense, though. I think here's my first thoughts on this slate in this week in general is this Arizona Denver game. I think it's a grounded out running grind, like just ground and pound game. I think both sides are going to run the ball extremely heavily. I think Arizona not having Kyler Murray, I think they're going to lean heavier on Connor. I think Denver, in a game where it should be close and low scoring, I think they just lean on the run. Plus, Denver runs a ton anyway. So I think they just lean on Latavius Murray a ton here. I wouldn't be surprised to see Murray get in the end zone a couple times. Um, he is a very solid option for me. I love Latavius Murray as well at only 5-1. And what, like I said, the way I'm expecting this game to go is a grounded, pounded game, slow, uh, just boring, just ground game like crazy. Um, no team getting ahead of the other too much. And yeah, so... I really like that spot there. Now, there is another Denver player I like, though, and that's Greg Dolchich. Dolchich has been getting a heavy target share on this team. Okay, This isn't a spot where they're going to be down big and you're going to expect a ton of targets, but the matchup is better than any matchup you can imagine. Arizona still is bad versus tight ends. They're the worst in the league versus tight ends. At fantasy points allowed, touchdowns allowed, all that. So Greg Dolchich being a big target for Russell Wilson. Dolchich didn't get, you know... A ton of love out of Wilson. Wilson was throwing some touchdowns, but didn't get one to Dolchich. I think he gets one to Dolchich this week against Arizona. I think they're going into this game. They're going to understand, like, look, we're going to run the ball like crazy. It's going to open up for those play-action passes. They're going to play-action pass to Dolchich in the red zone for a touchdown, and he is going to have a solid game at 3-6. All right? I'm calling that exact play. They're going to play-action pass to Dolchich in the red zone. Anyway, um, next up, we've got a couple – solid value options here. The first one's going to be Moore. I'm going right back to Chris Moore. I mean, at the end of the day, this script is fantastic. Houston's going to be down big, throwing a ton. Chris Moore's the main target here for Houston. Absolutely love him at 4-2. Don't really need to explain that much. Same reasoning here for Zay Jones. I think he's going to be targeted heavily. I think Dallas's defense is going to be focused in on Kirk a little more. That's going to open up Zay Jones in a situation where Jacksonville's going to be behind and have to throw a good bit. So at 4-9, I really like the potential for Zay Jones. And then like I I said at the last but not least, we have 3 3 remaining. You can do whatever you want there at defense. Um, I'm siding with Denver's defense, but you can go whatever you would like. Um, the Denver defense is my favorite defense to go with here at 2 7, um, but you have 3 3 and you can play with this. It leaves 600 on the table. I believe, yeah. So with the full lineup in, it leaves 600 on the table. You can play with this any way you want, but with those reasonings that I gave, this is the first look lineup I'm liking early on in the week. Justin Herbert paired up with Keenan Allen against Tennessee, who's bottom in the league against receivers, bottom in the league against quarterbacks, at fantasy points allowed, all that. Run back with Derrick Henry. James Conner in a situation, no Kyler Murray. I'm expecting Arizona and Denver to be heavy run this week. So that means Latavius Murray and James Conner. Chris Moore, Zay Jones, both cheap receivers, high target share in a situation where they're going to be down big. Um, Greg Dolchich, play action pass for a touchdown. Nah. And Dolchich just getting a high target share. No matter how, like this will be a predominant run game, but Dolchich is going to get his with the targets and all that. You can play with this spot though, no problem. And then Denver's defense um, as like the value defense. Yes, I have James Conner and Denver's defense. I'm thinking Denver's defense hits value at 2-7. I'm thinking James Conner hits value just with those little dump-offs that this backup quarterback is going to rely on here with James Conner. So um, this is a solid, solid look. There's other options that you can consider. If you want to get off of like a James Conner or a Latavius Murray, you can go down from James Conner to a Pacheco, who I like. 
But the, the crazy part is, is like how much usage McKinnon still got in a blowout against Denver. Like Kansas City was up all game, but yet McKinnon still got like nine targets in the pass game. So you Pacheco got 17 carries, I believe, something like that. So 17 carries for Pacheco in a very plus matchup. Should see more than 17 in a big blowout against Houston. Um, we will see what happens here, but... Um, Pacheco's a solid option as well. If you want to go down from Connor, open up some money. I don't know who you go up from. Maybe Dolchich. No reason to really change Morin's A, honestly. I mean, it, that's how my mind's working right now. I love these guys' as value this week in very plus game script opportunities. Um, so, yeah, James Connor, I consider. Dolchich, I consider. Latavius, I consider. Like, those three guys, you know, you could play with and really perfect your lineup. I think Broncos D is probably locked. I mean, the Broncos D is facing a backup quarterback. Um, and yeah, they're at home. Like, I mean, everything just kind of looks like Denver's defense is the way to go this week. So we'll see though. Thank you guys for joining me as always. I'm going to keep grinding on this shit Friday that I'll have a final look video where I'm going to go position by position and we'll really have a good idea of how to attack this slate. Thank you guys for joining me as always. I'm about to lock in the prize picks for NBA. I'll add some uh, NFL prize picks as well to the site on the NFL Access page probably today as well. Thank you guys for joining me. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.